Yes, Lord, yes, Lord, yes, Lord, yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Our God reigns. Hallelujah. Our God reigns. Our God reigns. Our God reigns. We give you glory, Lord. We give you glory. We give you glory, Lord. Hallelujah. We give you glory, Lord. Hallelujah, Hallelujah, Lord. Hallelujah. Oh Lord, we give you glory, Lord. Hallelujah, Hallelujah, Lord. Oh Lord, we give you glory, Lord. We give you glory. We give you glory, Lord. We give you glory, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Lord. Oh, Lord. Hallelujah, Lord. Praises. We give you praises, Lord. Oh, Lord. We give you praises, Lord. We praise your name, O oh Lord. We praise your name, O oh Lord. Oh Lord, we praise your name, oh Lord. Hallelujah. We give glory, God all the glory. We sing unto him a new song. We declare the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. This is truly the day that the Lord has made and we must rejoice and be glad in it because we are in it to win it and that's how God has spin it. Hallelujah. And so we are victorious because our God... Our God is an awesome God and he reigns from heaven above with wisdom, power and love. Hallelujah to the King of Kings and Lord of Lords. Blessed be the name of the Most High God, the Holy One of Israel. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Great is the faithfulness of our Lord, our God, our Savior and our King. And so we say good morning, Holy Spirit of God. And welcome, welcome into our presence, welcome into our day, welcome in this day, O oh Father, you are awesome in this place, Almighty God. There is no God quite like you. Welcome into the fourth watch hour. Welcome into our fourth watch family. Lord, your family, your children come before you this morning because we desire to hear from you. We desire a download. We desire an encouragement. We desire, oh God Almighty, to be filled up in this time when the enemy is doing everything he can to discourage us. God, we will not be discouraged. David said, why are you downcast, oh my soul? Hope thou in God. And so Lord, in this month of October, we walk in your joy. We walk in your peace. We walk in your hope. We are in good hope, oh God Almighty. Hope that you will deliver. Hope that you are a God that cannot lie. Hope that you are a God whose word will come to pass and cannot return unto him void. Hope that we have a future, O oh God Almighty, because of your thoughts and plans for us. Hope, O oh God Almighty, that your good hand will continue to protect us. Hope that your angelic host will encamp round about us to protect us, to deliver us, to set us free. Hope, O oh God Almighty, like the apostles of old had hope that you will never leave them or forsake them. Hope, O oh God Almighty, like the prophets of old. Hallelujah had hope that when you spoke it was you who spoke hope oh god almighty that when the enemy comes against us like a flood you will lift up a standard against them in the name of jesus hope oh god almighty that the trials and tribulations of the righteous you will deliver us out of them all hope oh god almighty that no matter what we see coming you oh god almighty will cause us to walk through the valley of the shadow of death and fear no evil for your rod and staff is with us hope oh god that we will never go hungry because you have made a table before us in the presence of our enemies hope oh god almighty that your rod your your favor is our portion and your goodness and mercy follows us wherever we go hope oh god almighty that we will never be lost because your angels your your, your holy spirit goes before us and lead us in the path of righteousness for your name's sake and so i thank you 
this morning, oh God Almighty. I thank you this afternoon. I thank you this night, this evening, this day. I thank you, Lord God Almighty, that we have hope in you and we can cope because of our hope. We can cope because of our hope in you. We believe and therefore we receive. Hallelujah. We have faith and therefore we don't have to wait. Hallelujah. You are everything to us, oh God. We thank you that you are our good Lord, our good God. You are our Father. Ah, our provider, you are our El Elyon, the most high God. You are our Elohim, the great creator of the heavens and the earth. You are God from beginning to the end, and there is no place for argument. And so we glorify your name this morning. We declare Jehovah, we declare Yeshua the Amashiach, we declare Adonai, we declare the I am that I am, the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, the God of Jacob, the God of Moses, the God of Daniel, the God of Shadrach, Meshach, and Abed go is our God he is the God over nations from beginning to end he is God over the universe he is God hallelujah all by himself so Lord this fourth watch family declares you as God this morning you are God over our lives over our families over our nation hallelujah you are God and so eternal father we ask you this morning to bless our land bless our land guard us with your mighty hand Keep us free from evil powers and be our light through countless hours. To our leaders, O oh great defender, grant true wisdom from above and let justice and truth be ours forever in this land, this land that we love. Holy One of Israel, we ask that you will visit every nation represented in the Fourth Watch Hour by the Fourth Watch family this morning. Visit us, O God Almighty. Cover us under your wings. Guard and keep us. O Father God, let the nations of the earth bow before you and know that you are God. As you have said, O God, those who bless Israel, hallelujah, you will bless. This morning, the Fourth Watch family, bless the nation of Israel and we speak peace to Jerusalem. Peace to Jerusalem in the mighty name of Jesus. As we speak peace to the very nations that we are domiciled, O God, we, we also speak peace to Israel. We speak salvation to the Jews. We declare, O God, as they have been uh, the, the nation through which you came and through which you spread the gospel so that we could be saved today. We demonstrate our gratefulness for the fact that they as a nation, their forefathers, O oh God Almighty, were responsible, hallelujah, for the salvation that we enjoy today through Jesus Christ and the power of the Holy Spirit. So Lord, we pray for the Jews that they too will benefit from what their forefathers facilitated by your Holy Spirit so that we could have life and have life more abundantly. Take advantage of the sacrifice that you made for us at Calvary. And so, Lord, we pray for the nation of Israel. We pray for the Jews all over the world. We pray that they will come to recognize that the Messiah came already. And when he comes again, he will come to judge once and for all. And so salvation... Hallelujah. Through the blood of Yeshua the Mashiach is available to them at this time before it's too late. Visit them, O oh God. Visit them in dreams and visions. Visit them through revelation of your word. Visit them, O oh God Almighty, through manifestation of power, love, and a sound mind, through miracle signs and wonders. What, by whatever means, visit them as you visit us and as you visit the rest of the world that men might be saved. Your, your word says it is not your will that any should perish but that all should come to repentance. So Lord, bring them to repentance in this season and deliver them from every scale and every shackle, every prison that they are locked in, whether it be prison of money, prison of, 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 uh, of, of sexual immorality, of, of any kind of evil concupiscence, oh God. Any prison they are locked in, release them like you release Peter with the, but through the angel, oh God Almighty, that they might be saved and preach the gospel in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Good morning, good morning. On behalf of Marsha Wade, I am Rowan Wade saying, this is the day that the Lord has made and we will rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah. I see a happy birthday greeting going on in the family. Hallelujah. Good morning. Fourth Watch family members. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good, good day. Good afternoon. Good evening. Whatever time it is where you are, I bless you in the mighty and matchless name of the Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Blessings to those who are in the watch parties. You are special. You are just as anointed and appointed and called. You are touched by an angel this morning in the name of Jesus Christ. I don't see the name of who is who is saying happy birthday. Who is whose birthday is it? Please let me know. 
Hallelujah, hallelujah. Let me know whose birthday, whose birthday, so we can sing happy birthday. We don't want to be saying happy birthday to who we don't know. Whose birthday, whose birthday? Come on, tell me quickly. Donna, hallelujah. Happy birthday to Donna. Let's sing happy birthday. Happy birthday, happy birthday. Happy birthday to you, oh Donna. Happy birthday. I make you sing now. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday to you, dear Donna. Happy birthday. Hallelujah. And so Donna, this day the Lord bless you. The Lord delivers you. May the Lord strengthen you. May the Lord cover you. May the Lord cause your best years to begin today in the name of Jesus. As the Bible says, your latter years shall be greater than your former. Hallelujah. May your latter years begin today. May this day mark the, 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 the trigger, the start when the gun fire and the, everyone drives out of the starting blocks and start the race of life. May this day be the day when you are dead definitely on your way to the gold medal you're on your way to being champion of the world may this day be the day when wealth prosperity good success in the realm of the spirit and in the realm of the natural be delivered to you in the mighty name of jesus may this be your day of the 21 day when the prince of persia loses the battle and the answer comes to Daniel. May this day be your day when you are set free, delivered, and made whole. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. Have a wonderful, wonderful birthday, uh, Donna. Don't do too much, but do just enough. In the name of Jesus. Uh, God's angels are around you to protect you. Hallelujah. And so good morning. It is Deliverance Thursday. And so we are expectant. That the Lord will show up and deliver, set free and make whole. And so this is truly a day of miracle, signs and wonders. We are believing God that in this season we will see his hand at work. Like, he, like we did in the scriptures where we saw miracles, signs and wonders being demonstrated for the, for the glory of God. Hallelujah. The same God that did those miracles for all those persons in the Bible from the Old Testament to the New, is still the God that is on the throne. He is our God and He lives not, He doesn't come upon us, He lives in us. And therefore, we should be like gods to troubles. We should be like gods to trials. We should be like gods to demonic forces. We should be like gods to every situation and circumstance that rises up. We should be like gods to the spirit of Pharaoh. Hallelujah. The spirit of Pharaoh and the spirit of Absalom. The spirit of, Absalom, the spirit of Ahab. The spirit of Jezebel. Come on, glory to God, has been raising up in the nations of the world in this season. But the only reason why they, the, those spirits are having a grand time, having parties in our lives, in our marriages, in our finances, in our nations, the only reason those, those spirits are having those kinds of wonderful time is because there is no army. Hallelujah. There's an army, but you know where that army is? The army, we as the army. We are operating like the children, the army of the children of Israel who were on the other side of the river when Goliath was standing in the riverbed and saying, will anyone come to challenge me? Will anyone come to show that they cannot defeat me? I am the Philistine champion. Who will come and challenge me? Who from your puny army can come and stand against me? And we are in our tents hiding on the other side, hoping and trembling that God will come and fight the battle for us instead of recognizing that God is in us and he will only fight if he fights through us. Hallelujah. There are so many times when we have been constantly asking God, God, fight this for me, fight this for me, fight this for me. And, and, and there's a place for that at some point in time. Hear me. Hallelujah. Because he says the battle is not ours. It is the Lord's. But don't misunderstand that. It doesn't mean that we are hiding under the bed, trembling, our teeth knocking, and our, our knees knocking. It means that he has given us, he is the one that fights it for us. So we don't fight with this muscle. Come on. We fight with the muscle of the word. Oh, glory to God. And so it is still us that has to fight the battle. 
but we don't fight it with our strength. We don't go for a machete or a gun. Come on, hallelujah. We don't fight with, 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 with words like we used to back when we were unsaved. When, when someone mess with you when you're unsaved, you tell them two choice words from whatever clo clothing store or cloth store that exists in your community where you live. In Jamaica, it's Pings and Pablos. And so we give them a whole roll of cloth and cloth and cloth and cloth. But that's fighting by might and power. That's not by spirit. When we, hallelujah, are fighting through the Lord, by the Lord, for the Lord, we said the, we the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but mighty through God to the pulling down of strongholds. We tear down every stronghold that come against the knowledge of the Lord Jesus Christ. We decree and declare that this is the day that God has given us to take dominion and authority and no weapon that is formed against us shall prosper. You will come at us one way, but you must flee seven ways. We command you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ to bow and subdue to the name of Jesus. We subdue you. The Lord says what way, whatsoever we bind on earth is bound in heaven and so we bound you with chains and fetters ah, God, oh, we have English words to bind and defeat them and we have spiritual words to bind and defeat them we do not fight by strength anymore we fight by spirit and when we run out of words to say hear me carefully when we run out of words to say we don't back up and retreat we say angelic forces attack in the name of Jesus attack in the mighty name of Jesus Christ so we can never run out of bullets we can never run out of ammunition we can never run out of weapons hallelujah glory to God somebody should get excited because we we only have to show up and God will deliver mm, glory to God David as a little maybe 16 or 17 year old only had to show up in the riverbed and Goliath was dead he lost his head. Mm. Hallelujah. Come on. Glory to God. David only had to show up. People of God, I'm saying to you this morning. I'm saying to you this day, this afternoon, this evening, whatever time you're watching. All you have to do is show up. Just show up. If you're hiding in your tent like Saul and his army, if you're hiding and trembling and saying, what's going to happen? He's going to crack our bones and make them in bread. Fee, five, four, form. He smelled the blood of a, of a Christian. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. He cannot defeat us. Corona is a giant, but God slays giants. Come on. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Presidents and prime ministers, pastors, uh, uh, leaders, businessmen who are doing evil things might seem like a giant because of how much money they have. You hear the information going around about certain mighty rich people who are, who are, who are instigating things and you hear all these rumors. I don't know if they're true because they never told me themselves. But guess what? We know in whom we believe. We know who strengthened David and caused him to make that sling, hallelujah, into a mighty gun. We know who our God is. And so it matters not which multi-multi-billionaire that seeks to come against us, which government seeks to come against us, which organization, which group, which lobby group that wants to shut us down, wants to quiet us. It's the same way when all hell come against us. Hallelujah. We know that it is well, for God says it is well. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. The God of David is our God. And so no matter which uncircumcised Philistine come against us, we will defeat them in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. So we got to get excited and recognize. Hallelujah. Get up from out of those tents, people of God. Get up. Get up out of those tents, people of God. And attack and take back your family. Attack and take back your life. Attack and take back your health. Attack and take back your finances. Attack and take back your comfort, your joy, your peace that the enemy took a long time ago. Attack and take. Get up out of that tent. Go back and read that story of the Philistine giant Goliath and David and see what the army of God, the army that defeated so many armies, of the past see what they were doing why david a little boy without any armor without any protection except the protection of the holy ghost had to go and do and so david set an example for us david was an example for us no matter how big our enemy is 
He is not too big for us to fight. He's too big for us to miss. Amen. Glory to God. And so we celebrate the Lord this morning. We celebrate the God who has given us a spiritual sling. He has given us a spiritual sto he given us spiritual stones. He has given us an armor. He has given us a sword and a shield. Therefore, we are invincible. He has given us the Holy Spirit. He has given us angels. Oh man, we, we are oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Hallelujah. The word is our stones, and we have many more stones. David only had five. I cannot tell you how much we have from Genesis 1 to Revelation 22. It is innumerable. It cannot count. We cannot run out of stones to throw at the enemy. So if you're even nervous and miss for a little bit, hallelujah, after a while you'll still get him. Amen? Glory to God. He cannot win. Hey, Jesus, the word of God is quick and powerful and sharper than any two-edged sword. Hallelujah. Dividing the very thoughts. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. mm. Cutting through joint and marrow. So with a spirit or person, the word of God can cut through them. Mm -hmm. So we fear no evil, for he is with us and his rather than staff comforts us. Glory to God. Hallelujah. 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 So good morning. We are ready to go. We're ready to take dominion over every plan, every plot, every scheme and trap of the enemy because it's deliverance Thursday and deliverance must come to your situation and circumstance. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Bless the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 I want to just uh, raise uh, one a stanza of a, of a song. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Holy Spirit, you are welcome here. Come flood this place and fill the atmosphere. Your glory, God, is what I long for to be overcome. By your presence, Lord. One more time. Holy Spirit, you are welcome, dear. Come flood this place and fill the atmosphere. Your glory, God, is what our hearts long for, to be overcome by your presence, Lord. Send your presence, Lord. Hallelujah. 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 Let us become more aware of your presence, O God. Let us experience the glory of your goodness. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Father, we depend on you. We invite you this morning to come this, this day, this time. Ah, God, we invite you to come and manifest in the lives of every person in this fourth watch hour, in this fourth watch family. Father, move mightily upon your people. Anoint and saturate, dispatch angels right now to every person that is watching every person that is listening lord dispatch your angels into their homes into their cars into their their space where they're walking or jogging into their space oh god almighty where they're working into their space god almighty whatever they're doing wherever they are you know where they are you're seeing each and every one of us at this same time whatever country or continent they are on oh god almighty dispatch your mighty angels ha ah, with deliverance in their wings lord the deliverance angels came in this morning and so lord dispatch them now by the tens of thousands to do a mighty work in the lives of your people in the name of jesus christ everything that easily be set your people this morning i command it to break and die now in the name of jesus christ and so lord we thank you oh god for the revelation of the power of the holy spirit holy spirit we thank you for your power we thank you for the revelation of god through you we thank you that you lead us in the path of righteousness for the sake of the lord we thank you oh great holy spirit that you are the one that delivers set free and make whole and so we call upon 
upon you this morning, Holy Spirit, to just minister to your people, minister to God's people, minister, minister, minister. Every tree that the enemy has planted in their lives that is bringing forth negative fruit, we break every tree now. We command every tree to be saturated at the root by the Holy Spirit, saturated by the water of the Spirit. Every tree, every negative tree planted in your life while you have while you were sleeping, every negative tree planted in your life through relationships, every negative tree, every soul tie tree, every witchcraft tree, we command you to be uprooted now. We salute the Lord Jesus Christ and we declare that He is strong enough to uproot every tree out of your life. And so every tree planted in your life by familiar spirits, every tree planted in your life by spirit husbands, every tree planted in your life through men or women that you were you're involved with that you should not have been involved with we command that to be uprooted now soul tie spirit soul tie trees we command every soul tie tree to be cut down and uprooted now in the name of Jesus Christ come on as I'm calling these things I want you to take a deep breath and say come out of me in the name of Jesus you don't know maybe some have left you already and you feel good but maybe some are still there as small trees a banana tree when it is is cut down uh, elements of droplets from the from the end of the banana stem uh, stem falls to the ground and rise up again and so when you cut down the big one and think that it is okay small ones are coming up and sometimes that's how spirits work in our lives that's why deliverance is a consistent and constant process and so this morning as I don't think that you are you are free and you have nothing to be delivered from just work with it 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 in the name of Jesus hallelujah Hallelujah. And so, Father, we command every soul tie, every soul tie tree, every soul tie tree, every dream spirit, every dream involvement, oh God Almighty, every spirit of rape, every spirit of abuse, every spirit of physical and psychological abuse that has grown up in our lives as a tree, we command it to be uprooted this morning. Uproot, uproot, uproot. I command every foul spirit operating in your life as, as, as sexual immorality, as pornography, as homosexuality. Come on, we command it to come up and out of you in the name of Jesus Christ. Every spirit operating, hallelujah, in, 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 in any kind of evil concupiscence, we command it to come up and out of you now in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Every spirit operating, hallelujah, against the will and purpose of God in your life. We serve your notice and we order you right now. Come up and out of God's people. Out. I order you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Loose God's people now. Every spirit of low self-esteem, every spirit of discouragement, every spirit of self-hate, every spirit of I can't and I will never prosper. I command you right now. Loose God's people. Loose, loose, loose now. Up, up, up and out. Up and out. Up and out. Out. in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth every spirit of anger and frustration every spirit of failure every spirit of failure I order you now anger frustration and failure I order you right now come out come out come out come out out in the mighty name of Jesus Christ up and out loose God's people now now I order you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth loose now come on go go now up and out up and out, up and out. Remember, as you hear something, take a deep breath and say, go in the name of Jesus Christ. Come on, every spirit of high blood pressure, hypertension, I call you by name. You are a spirit. Come out of our veins. Come out of our veins. Hypertension, you spirit of hypertension. Up and out, up and out. Come on, loose her now. Loose us now. Loose us now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Hypertension, you spirit. Diabetes, you spirit. Come on, every kidney disease. I command you right now. Every colon cancer, every kidney cancer, I order you right now. Use foul spirit. Come on, be uprooted. Now, now, now. I uproot you. Spirit of the living God. Angels of the living God. Deliverance angels. You came in this morning and you said you are ready to go to work. Go to the homes of these people. Go to the homes of God's people and pour oil of deliverance upon them now. Come on. Oil of deliverance is being poured upon you now. Everything that easily besets you. Every unclean spirit spirit operating in the life of God's people right now at the sound of my voice you must be uprooted and loose them now come on I order you we order you we come in agreement with the word of God you cannot continue in the life of God's people and so I order you right now by the authority of the Lord Jesus Christ and the power of the Holy Spirit be uprooted every spirit of infirmity 
every unclean spirit. I order you now. Come up. Up and out. Up and out. Up and out. Every unclean spirit. Loose. Loose now. Come on. Take a deep breath and say it. Tell them what's come out. Do like this. Out in the name of Jesus Christ. <coughs> come on. Hallelujah. Prime them out of your life. Prime them out of your life. Everything that is in your life that should not be there. We order you now, every unclean spirit. Come on, people of God. If you want to be free from some things that have been holding you back, spirit of poverty is a spirit. Come on, glory to God. Spirit of lack and insufficiency is a spirit. Every generational curse of lack, of broken marriages, of, of children not coming to anything, of academic suppression. Come on, everything is a spirit and you just need to tell it to come out of your life. You need to agree with me. I am not the dominant force in your life, the Holy Spirit. Spirit is and so you got to come in agreement with me where we tap into the Holy Spirit and get you free in the name of Jesus Christ everything that has easily beset you spirit of poverty lack insufficiency sickness and disease hypertension diabetes has been in your generation it is a generational curse you didn't do anything to get diabetes you didn't do anything to get prostate cancer you didn't do anything to get kidney disease or any kind of autoimmune disease it just came upon you because it it's a spirit. We yes. call it in Jamaica dopey. It's a spirit and we bind that spirit this morning. Every spirit generational curse. Every generational curse designed to take out God's people. You are a Goliath and today you get the stone in your forehead in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I decree and declare today is the day of your deliverance. Come on. Deep breath and say generational curse. Come out of me now. Out in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, every generational curse, I command you from the belly, from my knees, from my ankles. Generational curse of divorce, come on, up and out. Loose my bloodline, loose my family. Now, out. <coughs> In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, as you prime it, you will begin to feel the cough will start to come and things will begin to come out of you. Run to the bathroom or grab your paper towel, but just get that demon out of your mind. God is delivering you today in the name of Jesus Christ. And that spirit of fear that has been crippling you, that spirit of fear that has been oppressing you, that spirit of oppression that, 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 that caused you to be angry because you're at home now and you have to be spending time helping to homeschool the children. And first it was somebody else's problem. And so you did not get a chance to recognize that you didn't have patience. You weren't as kind as you as you thought you were. You weren't as 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 as, as supportive as you thought you were because you were not put under pressure. But now God has allowed you to be put under pressure so you could recognize what spirits are operating in your life. But today I declare that those spirits must go. That spirit of impatience, that spirit of fibroids, that spirit of anger, that spirit spirit of frustration come on every spirit that's a fibroid we command you to melt now melt now melt now melt now come on fibroids melt come up and out in the name of jesus christ fibroids i speak to you now out out the two down the bottom or out two at the top but your spirit must come out now come out now come out now come out now in the mighty name of jesus christ fibroids i speak to you now and i order you come out loose loose now loose now melt and run out in the name of jesus christ you must obey the word of the Lord. You must obey. We take dominion and authority over you. The Lord Jesus Christ is healer and deliverer. And so angels, angels are signed to deliver. Angels are signed to heal. Come on, heal now. Let every cancer leave the body. Every cancer, every spirit of cancer, up and out. Up and out. Up and out. Up and out. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Every time sensitive sickness that has come into the lives of God's people through a portal of generation every portal that is causing time release sicknesses to come into the lives of God's people we break your powers this morning we shut that portal now and we command everything in your life come on deep breath <coughs> out in the mighty name of Jesus Christ <coughs> out in the mighty name of Jesus Christ come on and we commanding everything that is operating against your family's love. 
against your children, wanting to destroy your yes. children, whether they are in your home or they are away. We declare that this day, this torment, the spirit of torment, yes. torment your children, tormenting your children. We break that now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We break that spirit of torment from off of you now in the name of Jesus. That spirit of torment stopping you from sleeping. You can only sleep for a few hours per night. We break that now and we command sweet sleep to be your portion. Sweet sleep in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Some of you are having serious joint pains. Joint pains. Joint pains. Rheumatoid arthritis or regular arthritis. We command that to go now in the name of Jesus. Come on. Every pain from arthritis. I command you. Come out of God's people now. 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 Loose them now. Every spirit of asthma. Every spirit of asthma operating in the lungs and through the ear, nose and throat. Sinus issues and, and asthma issues. Come on. Heart disease. I speak to you now in the name of Jesus Christ. As I lay my hand on my head, I stand in proxy for every member of the Fort Watch family. And I command every abnormality, back pain, asthma, heart disease, shoulder pain. I order you right now. Loose, 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 loose. Come on. Loose now. Loose now. Come out of the head. Come out of the ears. Come out of the eyes. Come out of the mouth. Come out of the nose. Hallelujah. Come out of the throat. Come out of the shoulders. Come out of the heart. Come out of the stomach in the name of Jesus. Come out of the knees. Come out of the back. Come on, I order you now. Loose God's people by the authority of the Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I order you right now. Loose God's people. Come on, people of God. Move your body. Move your body. Angels of the Most High God. Ah, we need your miracle. You show us in the word what the disciples and the apostles did. And you said that which we see you do, we will do that and even greater yes. and so Lord the greater is that you did yes. those miracles majority of them in person we are doing majority of the miracles today and every day ah, from a far away but you have a precedence that you have set with that too because you healed the centurion servant from miles away hallelujah you didn't have Facebook you didn't have any, any, any of those mediums and so God Almighty we thank you this morning that every person that is present now and every person that will be present later on as they watch this I thank you Lord that healing is their bread deliverance is their bread in the name of Jesus Christ every curse that has been spoken over your life by a jilted lover by a family member by a co-worker hallelujah by a by a neighbor hallelujah we break those word curses off of you now in the name of Jesus Christ every person in this family that have been a victim of witchcraft that has been a victim of witchcraft today we bind every witch and warlock that has spoken against you we bind every obi-man that has been that has spoken against you and everywhere that your name has been buried we command it to be uprooted and we tear it up now and your enemy will not be able to find you we put the blood of Jesus Christ upon you now your business will arise again your business will flourish your business will excel your job is waiting for you your resume will be dusted off and taken from the bottom and put on the top big jobs that you don't even qualify for will come to you come on glory to God in the name of Jesus we take you out from under the feet of the enemy. We take you out from the, under the feet of the enemy because God says we are supposed to tread upon the serpents and scorpions. The enemy is under our feet in the name of Jesus Christ. We are the one that is high above principalities and powers. Therefore, we are not supposed to be under the feet of the enemy. And so, Lord, and Lord today we declare the enemy is defeated. And we place our feet upon his head in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. And so everything that has easily beset you, come on, you know what, what is your issue. You know your issue. You know what you're struggling with. You know what you've been asking God for. So come on, declare it this morning. Because as you are delivered, your blessings come. Come on, as you are delivered, your blessings come. That which was blocked, come on, hallelujah. The angel came and delivered Daniel. Every Jericho wall in your life. Come on. Receive fire. Receive fire. Receive fire. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. We send we, we, we the lightning and thunder of God to pick up everything that is operating against you. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. 
Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Kato Shepaya Sekendu di Biandada. Reba Kasata Taka Shakatutu. Robo Kusakatata Makatu Sebaba. Ei la Baba Reba Kasata. Jesus. 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 In the name of Jesus. We break every curse. We break every curse. And then nobles with fetters. Hallelujah. Of iron. We bind. Mako to Shepapa Seketu. Reba Baba Bahariba Kasata to Shepapa Kasatu Nuria. Yes, 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 Lord, yes, Lord, yes, Lord, yes, Lord, yes, Lord, yes, Lord. Go from this place now, go from this atmosphere now, go in the name of Jesus Christ. Now, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, in the name of Jesus, receive fire, receive fire, receive fire, receive fire, receive fire. In the name of Jesus Christ, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, every spirit of insanity, every spirit of insanity, every spirit of insanity, every spirit of, insanity. Every spirit of alcoholism, we break your powers now. Go now, go now, go now, in the mighty name of Jesus. Jesus Christ, Jesus in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Oh Lord, give unto us the spirit of revelation and wisdom in the knowledge of you. Lord, we thank you that the knowledge and revelation of you is falling afresh upon the Fort Watch family this morning. In the name of Jesus, we receive the knowledge and wisdom and revelation of you and we declare that our lives will never be the same because we now have knowledge of you and revelation of you in the name of Jesus Christ. Make your way plain before our faces our faces this day and fix every issue that easily besets us in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Remove every spiritual cataract from our eyes O God Almighty and cause us to see clearly, hallelujah, as we look to you in the name of Jesus. We will not be overwhelmed. Every spirit designed to overwhelm us, we declare that we look to the Lord and our faces will never be covered with shame. We are radiant in God and through God in the mighty name name of Jesus Christ. Lord, forgive us Hallelujah. Forgive us of every false motive or thought that has ever been formed in our hearts when we see, when we didn't see your plan coming to pass, when we didn't see the blessing that we were praying for coming to pass. Every false motive, every, every, every request that we have made to consume upon our own lust, we, we cancel it, we repent and cramp and paralyze it, oh God. For only what you desire for us, we will have in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh Lord, deliver us from the bondage of sin and spiritual laziness. Deliver us from the bondage of spiritual laziness and sinful thoughts in the name of Jesus Christ. Right now, open our eyes to see all that we should. Hallelujah. On the issues that plague us, O oh God, open our eyes to see what is happening in our atmosphere, in our realm, in our home, in our business, in our in, 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 in the areas of our lives, in our office. Open our eyes to see God. Let when we go to places, we can see what's going on what forces are coming against us that we can stand on your word for Lord there are some persons in this family in this group that God they are getting a fight at their office they should have been promoted to high offices long time they should have been promoted to supervisors managers even vice presidents Oh God Almighty, but they have been held back by the enemy because of their belief in you. Ah, God Almighty, but today we break those chains now. We break those curses now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. And we declare freedom to be promoted, freedom to prosper. Ah, God Almighty. Hallelujah. A hey, witchcraft has been used to block businesses, oh God, restaurants from yes. not getting customers yes. despite how good the food is. Yes. Come on, hallelujah. Yes. Businesses that should have come yes. and expanded yes. long time ago has not been expanding yes. but contracting. Yes. We break every yes. contracting yes. spirit off of your business now in the name of yes. Jesus. And we declare that you will flourish and prosper. Yes. Watch in this month of October. Yes. Things will begin to change. You'll yes. see more people coming to your yes. business establishment, yes. coming to your company, coming to your restaurant coming to your 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 small business and they will begin to you will begin to see hallelujah your 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 only problem will be like my friend who we blessed at the beginning of october and he said man i'm overwhelmed i don't have hands to 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 to, to deal with and to serve up the business that is coming it can happen to you too if you will only believe and so i release the anointing for prosperity and good success upon you now in the name of jesus christ i only say to you be responsible 
Do not be overtaken or overwhelmed by the success of God. Remain humble and just be a blessing to those who God has laid on your heart to be a blessing to. And you will continue to prosper and be in good health even as your soul prospers. You have been delivered. You have been set free and you have been made whole. No matter how you feel, no matter what you think, God has sent his angels and they have delivered you from all that easily beset you. Now your job is to remember that God has not given you a spirit of fear. He has delivered you from fear, but he has given you power, love, and self-control. That has been bestowed upon you this morning. Love has been poured upon you this morning and it is well. So you now have all that you need for life and godliness. Go forth like David and slay the Goliaths that have held you back in your past. You are now free. You are now a champion. You are a soldier. You are a king. Take your place on the throne and live as a king and a priest in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. 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 Blessed be the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. And remember, if, if as we were praying... And, and, um, and you were coughing up if you completely feel like you have been delivered and you feel light you feel different you feel like God has set you free everything that was in you that needed to come out came out please send us a messenger a messenger message telling us that you were delivered and, um, and send us your email address we will send you a document free of charge come on glory to God that tells you how to keep your deliverance amen and we will interact with you if you have questions. Come on, remember, this is a family. You can take up the phone and call family and say, Family, I need help. Hallelujah. Sometimes we may not be able to speak to you at the same time because, trust me, it's a lot of you in the family. And everybody wants a time plus what we're doing around. But guess what? We love you, man, and we will make time for you at some point. Don't be impatient. Don't feel rejected or neglected. Just keep at it. And it will happen. Sometimes you have to pray, 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 pray. And then God, God will answer. It's the same thing in the natural man. Sometimes you just have to keep calling and keep pressing in. Hallelujah. Because you are in a line. And everybody wants to be fine. Come on. Glory to God. Amen. Hallelujah. I want to touch on a little bit of word this morning. Because word is important. Word is is. is as encouraging and especially when God has done an awesome thing, then word must connect to it and bring it to life in your life. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Hallelujah. 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 Okay, so the word I want to bring to you this morning, the encouragement, is from the book of Acts. I love the book of Acts because the book of Acts is a mirror of what I should be and is an example of what I, 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 I either am or I'm not. Most people, most churches don't touch the book of Acts at all. You tell me, and this is just us talking as family now. We're not criticizing anybody. Tell me when was the last time your pastor preached a message from the book of Acts? When was the last time you were encouraged from the book of Acts? Because the book of Acts is a mirror. It shows us where we are, who we are, what we are doing or what is missing from our lives. And most people don't like to look in the mirror and say, oh my goodness, I'm overweight. So they avoid the mirror because they don't want to say that they're overweight. But seeing that you're overweight is just coming to the reality that you need to cut back on your food portions. You need to start exercising. Come on. You need to start eating healthier. Come on. You need to make some de decisions that will benefit you. Avoiding the mirror does not benefit you. Avoiding the book of Acts. Because you are not walking in miracles, signs and wonders like the apostles or like Jesus says that you're supposed to, does not change your situation. It only makes it worse. And so I love the book of Acts because it inspires me to keep pressing in and asking God, when will I see the things that Philip and Stephen and Paul and Peter and those guys saw? When will I be like them? Because the same spirit that raised Christ Jesus from the dead, that ministered in them and through them, ministers in me and through me. And so that's my excitement and my encouragement, man. And you need to have that. Get your teeth in that bone as well. Grab on to Acts of the Apostles. Hallelujah. Because once you, you believe that Jesus Christ is your Lord, then everything that you see him do and the disciples did, apostles did, you are supposed to do too. If you're not doing it, it means you're avoiding the mirror. Hallelujah. So look in the mirror and say, am I who God says I am? Am I doing what God says I must do? Do I look 
like how God says I must look. And if not, don't feel bad. Come on, glory to God. Don't feel bad. Just say, Lord, I'm coming back tomorrow and I'm going to look. And I'm going to look until I see what I'm supposed to see, what you want me to be. Hallelujah. 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 Okay, so we're, we're in Acts chapter 8 and we're reading from verse 9. Acts chapter 8 from verse 9 to verse 13. Hopefully we'll get through all of these verses. Glory to God. But mark them in your Bible and be encouraged. The Bible says, this is the word of the Lord. But there was a certain man called Simon who previously practiced sorcery in the city and astonished the people of Samaria. There was a man called Simon who previously practiced sorcery in the city and astonished. Hear me? You see that word, astonished? Remember when we started early? Hallelujah. The disciples and Jesus were the ones who by the power of the Holy Spirit were astonishing people. But here is a, here is a man after Christ died and went on to heaven. Hallelujah. Who is using demonic powers to astonish to astonish the enemy is an imitator of what of who Christ is but you know why he was able to do that for so long because the people who were supposed to convert him convict him destroy his works were not in place but as soon as they came in place he the astonisher became astonished and he turned and changed who are you astonishing who is astonished by your presence? Who is astonished by the God in you? Who is astonished by the works of your hand? By the Holy Spirit? If nobody, keep looking in the mirror and say, Lord, I need to be an astonisher. If Simon the sorcerer could be an astonisher, then I am a better astonisher than he can ever be and will ever be and could ever be in the name of Jesus Christ. So, claiming, claiming that he was someone great we are the ones that are great we are the ones that are royalty we are the ones that are invincible we are the ones that are indestructible we are the ones that are called by the lord god almighty but here it is people who are into witchcraft sorcery are being seen as great obia men can't, don't have time to see people per day but church is empty oh come on somebody Churches are almost empty or empty. During this time of pandemic, the Uber men are still and Uber women are still getting a good support and making good money. But churches don't have any tithe and offering more than so. And I'm not knocking, please don't misunderstand. I'm just saying to you, we got to look in the mirror. We have to look in the mirror and we have to say, if they are being astonished, if what they are being promised, they are willing to pay 150, 200,000, 50,000, 30,000, whatever amount of money. 5,000 US, 1,000 US, whatever amount of money, that's, not, that's insignificant. If they are willing to go to these people and pay money, it means they are convinced beyond the shadow of a doubt that they are getting something. And they are not getting it where they should be getting it from, from us. So let's look in the mirror and say, God, we need all those people that are going to the, the other workers to come to us. I need all those people who are going all over the place trying to find help to come to my church. Come on, glory to God. Come to my house. Let them call me, Lord. Give me the anointing and power that when they call, whoop, everything gets sorted out. Because that's how they saw Simon the sorcerer. Amen? Verse 10. To whom they all gave heed, from the least to the greatest, from the simplest of person to the greatest of person, I saw a video the other day of a certain prime minister of a certain country who was at a, at, a, at a certain church, a rapid church as we call them here in Jamaica, a revivalist church and another member official of the government and they were, they were, they were dancing and doing their thing and, and laying hands upon. You know why he was there? You know why that person was there? Hallelujah. Because the traditional places where they need to go, they feel like it is lukewarm. They feel like they won't get what they need to get. Listen, I'm in that mood this morning. I don't, I'm not, I don't want to offend anybody. Don't take offense. Just look in the mirror. Come on. Hallelujah. 
If you take offense to the truth, it's because you're not looking in the mirror. Because you were supposed to see the truth in the mirror before you come out on someone else to tell you what is on you and what is not on you. Glory to God. Fourth Watch family, we are going to be different. We're never going to do church or do Christianity or do our, 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 our purpose like we were doing it up until this pandemic. We're going to do it different and we're going to press and press until we see the other day this big hurricane was set in place and was coming towards Jamaica with devastating power. And my wife got angry. Ah, hallelujah. My wife, we, we were on vacation and we were supposed to be going down to have fun and she was in the room shaking the hotel and saying, no hurricane, Jamaica cannot take a hurricane now. She was speaking to the sea and commanding it to get cool so that the hurricane that needs warm water to, to, de to develop and to come on. She was sending spiritual icebergs into the sea. Come on, people of God. She looked in the mirror and realized that a storm would devastate the country unless she, who is the woman in the mirror, arose and be and conquer that which and challenge God for the power that he says we have and she spoke and let me tell you the imminent storm that they said would come over Jamaica and, and, and escalate as it leaves and go on to the coast of Florida they all of a sudden the next day the news report that there was a 10% chance of it coming to it was 20, 30 first then 20 then 10 it kept going in the opposite direction you know why because somebody looked in the mirror saw that they had power saw that they had anointing saw that there the glory of God was glaring hallelujah upon them and she spoke to the sea and commanded to get cold and the sea got cold and the hurricane folded in the name of Jesus Christ that's in you and it's in me it's in all of us guys but we got to look in the mirror and we got to face the fact that we have been we've been pretending like we're nice but we have not been looking in the mirror to see that we're really not nice because we have not been doing anything. And the Simon, the sorcerers of the world, the, the, the storms and the hurricanes and the earthquakes and the, and the disasters and the things that are happening in our nation are happening because we have not been looking in the mirror. Hallelujah. And so verse 11 says, And they heeded him because he had astonished them with his sorceries for a long time. When there is nothing in place, to show the goodness of God, the righteousness, holiness, and truth of God. Evil prevails. And so if there's evil in your family, you need to look in the mirror. If there's evil in your community, if your community is beset by duns and bad men and robbers and thieves, maybe you should look in the mirror. If your nation is under siege from corruption and evil and all manner of, of, of things that, that, that have you so close to being like Sodom and Gomorrah, Maybe you should look in the mirror. And I'm talking to myself too. I'm looking in the mirror at myself right now. But we all have to look in the mirror because where two or more are gathered as touching, there in the midst is the Lord Jesus. And whatsoever we ask in unison, in one accord, he will grant it unto us. And so if we look in the mirror, we will recognize what's missing. And when we recognize what's missing, we pray different. Amen. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Verse 12. But when they believed Philip, when they believed a one man, a man who looked in the mirror of Christ, a man who looked in the face of Jesus, a man who said, I can do all things. Now, Philip was an evangelist. In the context of, of position and offices, he was an evangelist. He was not an apostle. He was not a prophet. He was an evangelist. But he was out there evangelizing because he looked in the mirror of the Lord Jesus. Have you looked in the mirror of Jesus? Have you looked in Jesus' face? Have you seen him? Hallelujah. Philip saw him. And as he was out there preaching, as he preached the things concerning the kingdom of God, that the name of Jesus Christ, both men and women were baptized. As the, as the man looked in the mirror of Jesus, took on... The image of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. People were saved and baptized. Verse 13 and last. Then Simon himself also believed. The one who was considered great. From the least to the greatest considered him great. He was as a God, one version says. Unto the people. He was as a God. He was so powerful. 
But when he looked in the mirror of Christ, he realized that all the power that was bestowed upon him by Lucifer paled in comparison to the power that could be bestowed upon him through Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Oh, come on, somebody. Come on, somebody. You have that power. You have been bestowed that power. And like Philip used it, you are supposed to be converting the Obia men. You are supposed to be converting the witches and warlocks. You are supposed to be converting those who are in e deeply buried in evil con concupiscences. You are supposed to be converting them like Philip. If Philip could convert a witchcraft worker, you can convert a simple sinner in your family. In the name of Jesus Christ. Finishing off, it says, and he continued. Somebody wants this scripture. Oh, uh, Acts chapter 8. From verse 9 to verse 13. Acts chapter 8, verse 9 to 13. You have to see yourself in this. You are Philip in this, my people. You are Philip in this scripture. You're not Simon. You are Philip. You don't bow or submit to the, to the inferior force, no matter how powerful it looks, because we carry the superior force in us. We are invincible. We are indestructible. We are undefeatable. We carry more than what David carried. And David slayed his ten thousands. Glory to God. Hallelujah. And so, last few words. It says, Philip, uh, he was baptized and he continued with Philip and was amazed seeing the miracles and signs which were done by Philip in the name of Jesus Christ. People of God, look in the mirror. Are you seeing miracles, signs and wonders following you? If not... Come on, get in there. Ask God, where is your miracle signs and wonders? Ask God if he has stopped pouring out like he did for Philip and the apostles because he has not. He just needs you to be in place so that he can cause your face to glow, to shine and to go forth, to be and to do for his good pleasure. He wants to do it for you even as he wants to do it for me. But we have to be in place. There's a place where he pours it out that secret place make your life a secret place for God and you will make you will exceed what Philip did and win more souls because you have more opportunities in Jesus name amen look in the mirror look in the mirror and be honest with what you see because God can change it and cause that devil to flee hallelujah we're out of time time for our communion glory to God Father, we thank you for this morning. We thank you for your deliverance of your people. We thank you for your word of revelation that as we are delivered, we are delivered to, to see ourselves differently in the mirror, to see ourselves by your spirit as to what we can do to win others to your kingdom, that people may be baptized, that may be, they may be saved, baptized, filled with the Holy Spirit, and go to make other believers of all nations in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Let no person in this fourth watch family, O God Almighty, come home to glory without fulfilling the purpose for which they were born. So Lord, cause each person to look in the mirror of your face this morning in an uncommon way and to see themselves for who they are. And if they are not who you say they are, may you ignite them by fire in the mighty name of Jesus Christ that they might come into the fullness of who they're supposed to be and be, cause you to be happy in Jesus' name. Amen. Father, we desire to eat of your body and drink of your blood, but not unworthily. So we ask you now to touch our minds for our thoughts, our words, and our actions. Forgive us for anyone that, anything that we have thought, said, or done that contravenes your, your word. And we ask your forgiveness even now in Jesus' name. Sanctify and consecrate these emblems, O God. Bless them. Touch them. Pour oil upon them. Let them truly represent your body and your blood, your, your power and your love. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Amen and amen. And so as the Lord Jesus Christ took the bread, he broke it, he blessed it, he gave it to the disciples and he said, Eat, this is my body broken for you. As often as you do it, you do it in remembrance of me. Eat ye all of his body in faith, in Jesus' name.
Hallelujah. And likewise, he took the cup. He blessed it. He took a sup and he said, Drink, this is my blood, the blood of the new covenant. As often as you drink of it, you do it in remembrance of me. My death, burial, and resurrection until I come. Drink ye all of it in faith, in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And now I just say thank you for joining us this morning. Thank you for your time. Thank you for your love. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious unto you. May the Lord lift up the light of his countenance upon you and give you his peace. That you will wear the name of the Lord Jesus Christ upon you. That wherever you go, you will not have to avoid the mirror of life. But you will stand and shine bright like a diamond. And impact your nation, your community, and your family for the glory of God. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. Hallelujah. Go forth, family. Have an amazing day. Hallelujah. God's way for our God has already shaken everything that is evil out of your day. His way. Hallelujah. 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 Remember, my family, Jesus love you. And we love the whole owner too. God is good. Have a blessed day. Walk with God. Look in the mirror and see what you're supposed to see. And go be who you're supposed to be. And let the devil flee. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Bless you.